Welcome. Today I'll be showing you the process of, to obtain a 3D scan of an object using the EinScan S-Series desktop 3D scanner. Let's jump right in. Uh, we will open the software here with a double click. Um, when the next screen appears, prompting a choice of device type, in our ca case the EinScan SP, uh, this is already highlighted for you, so you may simply click Next. On the next screen, the fixed scan working mode is pre-selected for you. Calibrate mode is a maintenance function which the typical user can disregard and simply again click next. Uh, from this screen we can create a new project or open an existing one. Today we will choose a new project. Uh, keep in mind that we will want to create our directory so we'll be able to find our work later. We'll create a folder for this specific scan. such that we can find everything later. Inside that one, we're going to create another new folder. We're going to name it raw. And inside that folder, we'll save our project. We'll name it as appropriate in the text box here and click Save. On the next screen, we are prompted to select between texture scan and non-texture scan. This can be a bit misleading. Um, as the difference is that texture scan produces color results, but also takes a little bit longer. The situation differs. Uh, today we will choose non-texture scan and apply. Next, a box appears which shows um, some options and asks the user to identify the shade or darkness slash brightness of an object. And the descriptions shown are pretty f straightforward. Uh, one thing to remember is that the texture of the object plays a big role in the viability of the scan. And you will see these descriptions, which are different call to scan, such as fuzzy, very dark, reflective, gloomy, etc. There are some workarounds to this if it's giving you a lot of problems and you need to scan something, such as a light colored powder or some other creative approach like that. Today we will pick um, bright because our object is white. In the next screen, you uh, you see the image of the object you're trying to scan in the top left corner and some options and indicators below. You see a number box where the amount of steps for a scan can be set and several types of alignment modes. Um, for our demo, we will choose eight steps and turntable and simply hit the space key to begin scanning. Once the scan's finished, you have the opportunity to examine it with the commands listed here at the bottom. So we'll rotate around and look at it here. Got a pretty good scan. Obviously, we don't have the top and bottom um, because of the way it was oriented. You will see here, uh, I actually put a piece of paper under this object so that we had some, some bad portions in the scan. Uh, this gives us an opportunity to edit those out. So if you hold shift and use the left mouse button, you can draw a circle around anything that's an error in your scan. And you'll see once it's highlighted, you simply collect, click delete and it is removed. Now we're satisfied with this portion of the scan, we'll click the green check mark to save it. And what we're going to do here is set our object up like so on the scanner so that we get these other angles and then we'll compile those into one scan so that we have a 3D model. Uh, what we're going to do is simply go and set this object up on the deck and then hit space key again to begin scanning. Alrighty, and once that's finished, we can examine it. Um, there are no points that we need to delete on this scan. So we click the check mark again. And you'll see that the two scans are automatically mended together so that we have it now a 360 degree object. And assuming that we are satisfied with those results, we're gonna come over here and click this little triangle button to create a mesh of the object. And when we do that, it, it prompt us for a watertight or unwatertight model. If you are visually displaying the model on a screen, you may leave it unwatertight as it won't matter. If you are printing the object, you will most certainly want water tight. So we're going to pick that one here today. High, medium, low, or detail is really up to your situation. That's uh, how many 
points and triangles are associated with the surface of an object. So we're going to pick high detail. And you'll see that it generates the object. It'll fill in all spaces so that we have a continuous surface. And you'll see the number of points and triangles will go up greatly. And when that process is finished, you'll see this box pop up. You want to make sure smooth and sharpen is are both highlighted. We'll click apply. And it's again going to transform your scan a little bit. All right, when that's finished, you'll see we have a very nice, complete 3D scan. You also see how large the file is compared to what it was before. Um, and once we are satisfied, we're going to go ahead and click the Save button. We're going to make sure that we're inside that raw folder. We're going to save. And you can scale up or scale down according to this ratio. And today, we're just going to leave that alone. All right, with that, it's all finished. You can close the software. You're going to go to your folder. You're going to go inside the raw folder. Inside here, and you'll see this is why we made all those folders. You can go back and you can see your scan here. This is your file. Thank you for joining us.